Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to plot 87. I have just handed in my tenancy agreement which means this is now all mine. Um, it's what time is it now? It's about half four um, in the afternoon and look it is bathed in sunshine. What a fantastic plot. I'm going to be able to grow so much here. Um, so yeah, plan today is we'll turn you around. Yeah so the plan today I think I want to I've just got a couple of hours tonight and then I've got, I've got all day tomorrow. So I want to just clear a bit of space, I think, around the shed so we can get in and out of that. And then I'm going to take you back up here. Sorry, my phone rang. So yeah, if I take you right up to the entrance and what I'm thinking is, it's obviously, it's such a huge plot. It is, is massive. Um, I think I might try and aim to work the left third in front of the shed. There's like all this again behind, but if I aim to maybe clear this first and I can get some things in there for now, and then we'll clear this and sort of start and just start covering it up and then working out layout and things like that. So I think that might be a, a plan of action. I can just get a couple of beds in to begin with. Um, there's definitely been stuff here before. You can see there's like edging. I don't know if that's showing there. So I think today all I'm going to do is I'm going to try and dig out some of these really sort of big perennial roots, one with the big huge roots on, say roots, weeds, um, try and dig out a few of like the big thistles and things like that. Then my husband, we're just about to get a petrol strimmer and then we can get started with that as well. But it's just so peaceful. I love it. So I'm going to stop talking to you just now get cracking and then I'll um, it'll probably pick this up over today and tomorrow It'll be over two days this vlog and we'll see how we go what is that I don't know what that is it's a post which probably means it's maybe from the corner of oh I don't know edge of a bed or something anyway I digress I need to stop talking start working it's actually coming up really easily and um, the soil is amazing I mean look for you soil freaks, look at that. That's not even been turned over at all. Um, there are some ants there, which I've obviously disturbed in their little nest. Um, but literally, everything's come out so, so easily. This is gonna be not as bad as I thought. And a lot of this grass is just coming from big clumps. Um, it's not like long grass. It's, I don't know if there's a proper name for this, but um, it comes out super easy. I've already drank a can of Pepsi Max, I've only been here about 20 minutes. It's about 22, 23 degrees. Um, it's five o'clock. I am absolutely <laughs> boiling, but I have to say, I am so happy I've got my allotment. So it's a quick stop. I'm absolutely filthy. <laughs> and then um, for a chippy tea, drink a beer. I'm as happy as a pig in mug. <laughs> I'm scratched to pieces and stung, but um, yeah, it's great. <laughs> Oh yes, baby! Now we're talking. <laughs> Should do around the entrance. <laughs> this is going to be so much better. Um, we're about to get it down to ground level, get it covered over, and then um, start sorting it out. It's so noisy though. I feel very bad for the neighbours. We have no neighbours. Right, we'll come back in a bit because this is just very, very loud. Hello, so it is Tuesday today. Um, back again. We didn't stay too much longer last night. We had a couple of technical issues with the strimmer, as in ran out of fuel. <laughs> so, husband's at work till three. He's then gonna just sort the strimmer thing out and then we'll come back and do more. But I'm here now, it's mid-morning and it's roasting. Um, plan of action today, I'm gonna to turn you around. Yeah, so plan of action I think today is, um, we're gonna, I'm gonna go home for three. Um, when my husband finishes work, we're gonna have a really early tea so we can then come back and just stay as long as we need to tonight. And I wanna get as much of this strimmed as possible. And then we're going to start covering the strimmed areas. 
I think today, just now, I'm going to just look at clearing around the fruit bushes. I've been and bought a couple of things. Um, so I've picked up some netting so that I can cover the fruit bushes. So I just picked this up from Wilkers. So I wasn't sure how much I'd need, so I've got two lots of that. Um, I've also picked up a large bottle of water. I've got my sunscreen, I've got my hat. It's gonna be about 24 degrees today, so it's gonna be ever so hot. So yeah, I'm gonna start on this, dig around there. And then, um, yeah, once we need just to trim it all. And then um, that'll be that. So very exciting. Um, I'll show you the a bit of the allotment later, I think, like the rest of the, the whole site. I think there's about 10 acres, I think. Um, the allotment's here. I've been here for about 80 or 90 years. Privately owned, as I've mentioned before. Um, it was part of like a big local firm, which owned the land and let it out as allotments. And the allotment committee are in the process of hopefully purchasing the land. So then it's secured for all time for us to use. And they've got lots of projects going on and, and things. So yeah, it's a really exciting time. But listen, just listen to the birds. I love it. Right, on with some work. I've also <laughs> brought some chairs like really old little deck chairs from my mum and dad's garden bless them so i've got something to sit on and i brought this like little kneeling sitting stool thing from our garden and some secateurs and yeah i think we're all good let's get going can't remember if i showed you that we had some fruit bushes or not but we have some gooseberries growing lovely so that was good um we have some, I think these are red currants um, here. So a nice big currant bush here, which is fab, and another one there. Um, what's this? This is just blossoming. Is this another currant? Is that a raspberry or a currant? I don't know. Where's the blossoms? Can you see? I don't know. So if you know, let me know. <laughs> There's a little ladybird. Um, so yeah, so I've got some currants there. And then there's that other thing over here which nobody knows what it is. Um, just there. And then we have a really gorgeous apple tree at the entrance. I've just seen somebody, a neighbor over there, but one, which is the first person I've seen. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go crack on. Exciting update. I think I have found some onions. I think. Or is it only? I think it's onions. I just saw them in a little row. Can you see? There's food here. That's amazing. <laughs> so I've got a load of wood in here. Don't know if it's going to be any good or not. So I'll pull it out, have a look. At least there shouldn't be any um, weeds growing under it. But there are some ants. There's loads of ants, loads. So what I am learning is this is going to be a slow <laughs> process. Um, I'm like, I've been working my backside off and it just feels like I'm not getting anywhere at all. Um, but that's okay because I actually have made progress and I can see progress. And I think as soon as that streamer comes in and we get the height down to ground level, I will be so much happier. Um, and then we can just start making some beds and yeah so it's so warm the clouds just come over a bit which is really really nice so i thought i'd just sit and stop and then have a little drink a packet of crisps and then carry on um the days are just gonna fly here i think i'm just i'm loving it i just yeah i'm so happy i'm really pleased i have got my allotment if you don't have an allotment and if you've never thought about it just honestly give it a bit of a thought <laughs> it's like <laughs> I'm so happy, um, even though I know it's only day two and um, yeah, anyway, I'm gonna go. I'll catch you in a bit. So I'm just sat here eating my crisps and thinking, isn't it strange that once you get an allotment, all you think about is the allotment. I'm obsessed. Um, I'm looking at stuff on the internet, on Facebook, YouTube, Pinterest. And I'm just sat here now like thinking, 
how I want the beds to be and what I want to grow and yeah I'm let's consume con totally con totally I don't even the words completely totally consuming I'm like I, I feel obsessed um so if you could let me know <clears throat> where you go for inspiration and if there are any like YouTube channels or in Instagram accounts or Facebook accounts that you follow that you think are really good or particular groups like social media groups which are really really good and helpful and nice and things that'd be amazing um yeah I'm just I feel so happy <laughs> I keep saying it I just like yeah I can't wait for it just to be looking like an allotment um but even like knee high in grass I'm so happy <laughs> Right, um, onwards with some work. Um, I shall give you, before I go for my, before my break, mid-afternoon, I'll show you where I've got up to. And then, um, yeah, streaming action, which is so exciting. That's what I'm wanting to see now. So, yeah, see you in a wee bit. Right, I need your advice. Um, how would you get big clumps of grass out from the middle of your fruit bushes? Um, any advice, tips would be really, really welcome. Do you have to wait till like the end of the year to get them out properly? Do I just keep pulling it out? I mean, I don't want to sort of get a, a fork in there or anything, so it's like right next to the roots, so yeah. I'm not sure what I'm meant to do, so yeah, just any tips, please. I will be very, very thankful. So I'm gonna have a little break and go home and have something to eat, like an early tea, as I sort of mentioned earlier. But look, I mean, it doesn't look like I've been grafting for hours, <laughs> but I've cleared around that bush, pretty much cleared around this one. This is the gooseberry bush. I just flung a bit of netting over it just now, and he's bring some scissors. Um, do you need to secure it to the ground for some stones or something I'm not sure but anyway I have got some netting on and I've got the one from Wilkinson's which is let me show you um this is one that I got and it just says for fruit and veg against birds so yeah still allowing the insects into pollinate which is what I want um so yeah does that, I feel like I've actually done something productive today so I'll be back in a little bit a couple of hours and um, carry on I'm loving it so we are back for part two of today which is Tuesday the streamer hopefully is working it sounds like it so I'm gonna just clean around by the shed first and I might just work on getting the shed cleared out tonight then we can leave our tools and things and then we're gonna try and get all of the first half sorry for making you dizzy cleared so that is the plan whoa he nearly just killed the goose brain oh I need to sort him out <laughs> this makes me so happy so um, we're getting on all right we have cleared this bit here in front of the shed um a bit behind the shed and color bright red and i'll just bring you up here um to the entrance you see there and we've just found out i'm going to turn you around a second there's bugs crawling on me um so we've just found out apparently from the the guy who's got the allotment in front of us was here when we arrived um this afternoon and he says this fence is in the wrong place we've got about another six foot in front of that as well which makes it ginormous um i'll give you a little quick look at some people there i don't want to film people um but yeah and anyway, you can see what we've got up to so far this is all our rubbish so far and this is such a great way of like cataloging cataloging keeping a record of the progress of the allotment um 
so yeah you know I feel much happier now that it's being strimmed it doesn't seem so overwhelming even when it's just all this compared to this so onwards and upwards Glenn's just gone to get a bottle of pop <laughs> we've drank our beers and obviously he's driving home so um one beer for him um i could have had another one in mind oh in future i'll bring more than one Ooh. also um remember i, I says uh, i found some stuff where i was in here that i thought was either onions garlic leeks i've dug a couple up and i actually think the spring onions so yeah, um, I don't know how long they've been in or if they're ready or not. I think I'll probably just get rid of everything. I'm going to just start afresh. I don't think there's anything else in here that is salvageable or that, I can, that even is growing, to be honest. Um, I and mean, I just want to get everything cleared, get, in, get a nice sort of layout going on. And then, um, yeah, but it's such, oh, such a great, great plot. I'm honestly so happy. I must have said that about 20 times in this video. I'm so sorry for repeating myself. Um, obviously, I've filmed this over a couple of days. But I am delighted. I love it. Right. Back to raking up all this strimmed mess. Could you imagine getting to the top of the list and being delighted to then <laughs> like my work, to be given that plot? It is literally a full plot of brambles and nettles so that's on that side and then <laughs> it's literally the same it's gonna be so long till we get any neighbors i think they're gonna be doing some clearing parties in the winter um but look because there's that bramble it's like a bloody tree wow it's just incredible so we're gonna to have to like take this back so we're going to find our boundary and take it back to that and then just try and contain it but let me zoom you out like geez it's gonna be a while i think i've got somebody next door but one that way i think they were here earlier um got a compost bin i'll show you things that i've found so far so yeah we've um bring you back in we have a compost bin which we have inherited look at this apple tree seriously <gasps> look it's gonna be covered there are so many apples that are coming it's like it's covered wow um so yeah we've got the compost bin that's going back now with some pop so we've inherited that thank god for streamers um what else have I found? Ooh, a bit of wood. Looks a bit rotten. But I'll better make like a little wildlifey bit, I think, for with some of the old logs and things, which would be good. Like another sort of sleeper thing here, and a bit of wood. A watering can. Some more wood. I found, where is it? Um, well, I've got things crawling everywhere. Where is it gone? I've got, I found a mini hoe. Don't know where it's anyway. We've got a little small hand hoe and we've got some little edging strips here. So there's a little flower bed by the shed and God knows what's in there. And there's some more stuff down there. <gasps> oh my God. Is he not the best husband in the world? I shall um, go. I'm going away <laughs> to eat my lolly. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> we're going to just call it a day um we've got them great so we've done part of the bottom half so there's a shed just for a bit of perspective come back so we have done a bit of the bottom part but we've found down here um yeah i'm wanting to get a committee member out so he can come and just confirm our boundaries for us so we know um, exactly where we're going to. So we found a couple of bits of covering, which is great, it was in there. Um, all this is ours as well. 
in there. That corner's ours. Um, we've cleared a path down to the tap and the dip tank. So coming round, yes, we need to clear this. Husband's going to come after work tomorrow, I think, and try and get as much of this done as he can. We just went down to ground level, but look, it's just so different already. I feel elated and um, it's weird. Now it's been cleared, it doesn't seem as big. Isn't that weird? I think just before there was so much grass, but yeah, here we go. So we've got the top half totally cleared. Well, say cleared, strimmed. <clears throat> I've got a lot of this raked up. But there's still this bit here, which I'll do tomorrow after work. I'm working till six, so it'll just come back. Um, cleared the entrance in and widened that path and got rid of the brambles so we're not going to get attacked on the way in. And then look how fantastic. What a difference. We only got, we only signed the agreement this time yesterday. So 24 hours, or maybe 26 hours work, and we're here. I think that's fantastic. So I'm just going to turn you around. So that's it. I'm really red. I'm so warm. It's been hard work. Um, I will be back with another vlog very soon. I hope you've enjoyed this one. And I'm really excited to keep a record of our journey here and then um, the progress that we're going to make. It is really starting from scratch. There's the man of the hour. <laughs> Fantastic hubby. Not only does he stream, he buys me ice lollies as well. So win-win. Um, what a keeper. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed today's vlog. Um, please subscribe if you haven't done yet. I have got my Instagram account as well, where I've been posting lots of stories and updates and things as well. So I'll um, link that down below, but it's basically Marcy's gardening diary, I think it is. And, um, what have you been doing? What? I'm getting told off for not raking that bit, but I thought, let him do the raking because the streaming is the easy bit. <laughs> the raking and picking up and dumping is the hard work. I tell you, men and the toys, they do, he does love a good streamer. So yeah, um, as I was saying, thank you so much for joining us and I'll see you all in my next vlog. Take care. Bye for now. Happy gardening.